Morning guys, welcome back to Lee and Toon's channel and another first for Toon Lee's Paul Pang Farm YouTubing is today is Yok Yor. Not quite yet though because we've got to do some running repairs, well Toon is. Um, so this is a lift net used to catch a large amount of small fish in one shot. So what you've got is a fairly fine mesh in the middle here, joining bigger mesh, and then the four corners are connected to skinny bendy bamboo. Now it is all done, but over a period of time the bamboo warps, uh, some goes extra soft, some goes harder, so it's unbalanced at the moment. Toon's currently just chopping out some new bamboo for us, she's going to rig up four new sticks. And then you put the ends of the sticks in the cross pipes here. And then you can lift and lower the net in and out of your pond. So once it's all sorted, we'll show you that. And then the fun stuff, we'll show you it in action. Hello. Anyway, you got in your hair? Hello. It's not a bug, cheer yourself. Supposed to be cutting the bamboo, not making it. Hang on! Very nice. Okay. Toon's just checking the benditivity of the two new sticks. They've got to be roughly the same length and the same sort of flex. They're not too far off. Going to cut them to length. And now she's going to replace the two most rigid pieces of bamboo. Just clean off most of the bits and bobs. Simple as peas, how you attach the ends. No knot required. Sweet. Now normally we, we team up to connect this because they are a bit flexy. But uh, Toon's going to have to do it solo so we can get it on camera for you. So hopefully with these two new pieces it'll be a lot more balanced. When we tried it before the fish would start sort of like tipping out on one side. Of course we used the cast net on a previous video that's good for catching the big ones out. We want to get a lot of the small ones out. We've currently put about 2,000 small tilapia on the outside of the lake. Um, I probably want to put about the same again in there. And then also the medium sized ones, we want to start chopping them up and supplementing the feed for the ducks. Oosh! Quite what we're looking for. Here she is, a thing of beauty. So's the yuck yaw. Just lift it up, missus. That's it. It's just a little bit on the piss, but we can live with that. You'll be chopping and changing forever in a day if you want perfection. So that should work fine. So we've got a couple of old bamboo sticks there. They won't get thrown away, they get recycled. They're mainly to be used for smacking Gang, the naughtiest dog in Thailand. Right, let's see it in action. Not, not the dog. Here we go then. Yuk your Thai style. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. Just had a quick practice. We got about 10 while I was getting some pellet. So uh, just normal fish pellet, going to throw a bit in, hopefully that will bring them round and the idea, our aim is really anything that's sort of like more than a gram will get chopped up for the ducks and the small ones will go in the, uh, the first part of the lake that's been dug. All you need, apart from your bamboo sticks and your net, is a bucket for your fish bowl to scoop them in. Toon's bringing it up now. 
piss poor. Terrible effort. Need to find somewhere to go stand in there. Yeah, I think we need to get a little bit closer to the water so we can get this net deeper. As my old mate used to say, not enough to fill my ball bag. In the name of YouTube, Toon's putting herself in danger and being eaten alive by ants. So she could get the net in deeper. Do you want the arse spray? Huh? Yeah, I get it. It's not arse spray, it's formica, the same as the one push. There's a dead snail down there, the ants are all over it. That stuff could wipe out the whole of flipping Bermuda. Oh. Good stuff this. Any? Any? Yeah. Like it. Right. Try and hold it there while I... That's a little bit better. But all nib. Bigger ones for duck. Well, oh, not for you. Here we go. Oosh. About the same again. Get the bolt. It'll do. Not bad. <laughs> I think we might have to reevaluate our grading size for the ducks, otherwise, they're going to go hungry. So, get lost, Mo, you're not having another one. This one. Now. Thai fish aren't scared of stones and in fact when you, you throw some small stones in it, it seems to bring them straight over. In the UK, you'd be swearing, cursing at other fishermen throwing stones in. But you think about when you fire out a swim feeder or catapult some ground bait balls in, then uh, a lot of fish come to that. It's the same sort of principle. Isn't it? Mm, piss poor again. Okay, he not trust me, but yeah, he going to. I'm gonna punch him in. He <laughs> punch Luck her. Luckily, I've got the balance of a cat. No other Belanger tried it. Last shot for today. See for long swim in a minute. Is it? Yeah. In the pond, yeah, believe it. it yeah. Yeah, it is. Oh, pellet. Yeah. <laughs> I threw pellet for you, didn't I? 
Now. You got about five. Yeah, more gonna jump in any, any second now. Special call, Lil Lil C. Oh, heavy. Oh, yeah, right. And a big one. One. Oh, fuck's sake, I saw a snake. <laughs> <laughs> Are you showing the camera to where you're pointing? No, you won't we? No. Tell it. 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 Tell who throw lobbies? What's this? Like this. Like this. Oh. How do you got snail? Skill. Skill with one L. Not many. Ah. You're bigger than wolf, why are you scared? Jai boy, but scared of wolf, need wolf. Is that wolf? That's thunder up in here. Oh, I need to take mum soon then. Ooh. Any what? Fucking wasp. <laughs> Get my disco shirt, isn't it? Wasp's not sting, remember? You tell me that. Uh. Where? Honey, stop being baby. I'm not saying anything there. Hmm. Yeah, quick, 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 quick. Smooth, quick, smooth. Oh dear, love is you get snow again. Oh, we not need snow. In hoy, my. My in hoy. Ah, big one come in. Come on, <laughs> That my style. Why that snail not swim away? Come back in again. Honey, look. Oh. Liu, 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 Liu. It's going to be a new record. Wow. Well Ready? done. Nick. It is good. It's good. It's good. Oh, one. One mummy. Yeah, you want me? It's the last shot, so you've got to go. Mm. Pellet troll. Right, this is oh, you want to stand there till I come back? <laughs> What's going to make the nest on me before you get back? <laughs> Terrible story. Where are you, Pellet? <laughs> Another pellet, everybody, especially just pellet, no fist. Three coming. <laughs> oh, that airplane, isn't it? Fucking hell, I saw a sky. Bên lại mà ô. Hmm? Bên lại. Lo ăn mãi.
No fish this time. Someone gonna swim any minutes? No bloody fish. Don't fish yourself. No, no fish. Huh? One. <laughs> You'd be surprised. <laughs> ah, huh? Ba? Boring. Yeah. One. Yeah. That'll do. Oh, for that. Uh, when I say this, remind me when you cram on the <laughs> <laughs> remind me when you cram on the tree in the river. Sizes really. The super nib one is going in the lake, and then those are going to go inside a duck. We're going to make them disappear in a duck. You stand on That's the end, innit? Have a. That's nice. Oh, red ants. Lovely. Not bad. How many shots do we have? About ten? Mm -hmm. Maybe a bit piss poor for the duck sized fish, but duck sized fish, don't you? Duck sized fish. Wow, damn. <laughs> Here we are. The outside of the lake, guys. That's where I'm going to pop all the baby tilapia in. Luckily I've constructed some EU standard steps so there shouldn't be any dramas at all. As ever using our trusty yellow live bait bucket probably the best thing that I've bought from the UK over the years. Um, we used to use it in conjunction with a little aeration pump battery driven thing there and you put your pipe in there with a little air stone keep your live bait alive but um, we used it mainly when we fished a place called Tamakur for a big fast flowing river that we haven't recorded yet and uh, some of the fish there you can't really get anywhere else around here so we used to bring them back with that unless they were so big they wouldn't fit in the bucket of course okay Swim, you're free until we dig the lake, of course, and then we're going to pump it all dry and eat and sell you all. Off you go, puppets. The gore fest is over. That's about the heads and tails of it, guys. So, just about five minutes to top and tail those. We're going to give them to the ducks. Now, you might think, well, this is a lot of effort. You're in all your small fish out just to give them a few a few tidbits. Well, the main reason we're doing it, as well as supplementing the duck food, of course, is to thin that pond out. We can't actually keep up with these babies. So, um, yeah, it's just stock in the lake. Um, and then again, when the lake's almost ready for digging the rest of it, the water will be drained out. And there should be thousands upon thousands of these just about full size. So that's it. The other thing we supplement is the dog's diet. The dog's food is by far and away the most expensive feed that we we purchase. Um, over 600 baht for just 20 kg. So anything we can use to pad out their diet is the biggest money saving out of everything. Okay. Now as you can tell it's a little bit noisy and I still haven't set up noggin cam. So I'm going to attempt to launch this lot in whilst holding the phone. So I'm probably going to end up launching the fish and the phone at the same time. Here we go. Success. Muscovies are straight in there. And the gab gabs. They obviously all won't get a bit, but as long as a few of them do, that's good for us. Earlier today was one of the funniest things I've ever seen duck-wise. I just couldn't get the phone out quick enough. I was walking out here and I saw a late egg just dropped on the floor. So as I was walking around, I noticed where that duck is there. 
There was one in the tyre with his head stuck, her head stuck down the side. She couldn't get out and was shooting around all over the place, trying to unstick her head. But as I say, I just couldn't get the camera out quick enough. It was an absolute class moment for about five seconds. Right, I think that's it. I think they're all fished out. Happy days. None for you lot. Bloody useless you lot. None for you turkey boy either. You don't lay any eggs do you? <laughs> Whatever. Toon's concerned that Gang's got brain damage because she's always chasing her tail. I said to her, she's not got brain damage. She's just skint. She's trying to make ends meet. Honey? Eh? Yeah. Ta-da for now. <laughs> Ta-da for now.